Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms, bringing you all the exciting action of the Jaguar Football Program. It's brought to you by Coca-Cola, Louisiana Lottery, Cox Communications, Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Louisiana, the Communities of Color Network for a tobacco-free Louisiana, McLean Financial Group, and Jerry Lane, Buick, and GMC. Jaguar football show with coach Dawson Odoms. Welcome to week eight and coach we'll kick it off. Great win 2017 over the Alabama A&M Bulldogs but definitely a strange game. Had you ever been in one like that before? No but I was excited to come out of that one with a W. Okay coach your quarterback very Andre Joseph like four INTs four interceptions uh, a couple fumbles lost what was going on with the offense? They just weren't clicking in this game. Well, you know, we came out the first drive, we went right down the field. We punched it in, you know, nice quick six touchdown. It good, and then we come back out, and it just seemed like their defense made an adjustment. They showed why they're the number one ranked defense in our conference, and we knew it was going to be a tough time moving the football, but we thought we could have put more points up on them. Another point of concern for the Jaguars moving forward, Alabama A&M held the ball for 38 minutes to our 21 minutes in time of possession. That's usually the formula for losing. Well, when you turn the football over, the time of possession is going to be a lot different than, than, than what's supposed to be on paper. You know, they, we had, what, five turnovers there, so that allowed extra possessions for them, and they did a great job, and we were able to get four turnovers. So. You know, we were able to get some three and outs, but we kept going three and out, and then they started moving the football, so it allowed for them to hold on to the football. Well, we're going to jump into the highlights and show you first half highlights from the Alabama A&M Southern game on Saturday night. And the day started out nice and bright and sun shining as Dre Joseph hits Doss, and then Tillery takes one up the gut. Uh, Coach, Tillery has been running the ball well. Have you been pleased with his production? Exactly. You know, I just think it's good to have him back there. He understands how to run the football. You see uh, Willie Quinn with a circus catch for the touchdown, and Hill comes in and makes the point after. And just like that, we march down the field, as Coach said, and we're up 7-0. Special teams. This is why special teams are important, folks. The a and Bulldogs muff the kickoff, and the Jaguars are Johnny on the spot. And just like that, Coach, for one of the first times this year, we're up 14-0, and it's not even three minutes into the game. Well, I was excited. You know, I think the team was excited right there and just thinking that now we're getting ready to roll and put something together and try to put this team away. The Bulldogs start to run the ball, and there's a good hit by Virgil Williams. I love the way that kid can play cover corner, and he also is not afraid to come up and, and hit somebody, Coach. Well, that's exactly. It's just a veteran force, a senior to understand how to play the game. Unfortunately, you see Drake Joseph throwing his first interception. They're back on offense. We get a good stop by Echols and another good stop by Allen. And then another good stop by Francho West. Coach Francho West played a good game for you. Yes, they did. I think our whole linebacking core did an outstanding job. We almost had a terrific goal line stand. They were able to punch it in on fourth down. But once again, we got down there and got some penalties, which allowed them to get close. Yeah, as Coach said, they punch it in on fourth and goal, making the score 14-7. We come back and Tillery rushes one off on the left side. And then Dre Joseph comes back and hits for eight. And then Dre Joseph goes for it on fourth and one. Why did you go for it on fourth and one in the middle of the field, Coach, versus punting it? Well, you know, we, we think we was going to try to get the momentum there. And we've been good on fourth down. We just didn't execute. They weren't ready. He tried to quick snap it. We didn't get the push that we thought we could get. Well, as you can see, they punt. We got the ball back, and uh, Dre actually hits Altman for 36. Dre comes back and hits Quinn for 14. And then that old interception bug again for the second time today. Dre Joseph sails one over the head of the receiver, and their A&M uh, defenders there for the second interception of the day, Coach. Well, you had a guy open. You got to put it in his numbers, give him a chance to catch it, and we overthrew him. So, you know, it led to another interception. 
Got a good deep stop there by Allen. The defense comes up again. This time they hit us for 48 yards. He uh, bounces off a tackle and then breaks it open. This is a good play by them, a good, a good individual effort by the receiver to get that 48 yards on that play. But the defense comes right back and Eccles and uh, Jordan get a good stop right here, Coach. You had to be pleased with your run defense, huh? Well, we've been working on it. You know, we haven't had good run defense in the past, but you can see, you know, we're getting better, and it's just good to see those guys continue to work at practice and get better on defense. You saw a good defensive effort right there. They go for a field goal. At this point, the score is 14-10 Jaguars. Drake comes back, hits Bates for seven, and he comes back, hits a Quinn for five. Unfortunately, we can't uh, make anything of it, and we punt. They get the ball back, and your defense holds pretty firm. A good defensive stop by Palmer, Coach. Well, exactly. Another fifth-year senior just stepping up and starting to play the kind of football we think they're capable of playing. Fifth-year senior. Yep. Then you got another good stop, Coach, by Francho West and Javon Allen. Well, exactly. You know, and uh, actually Dion's a graduate student now, so, you know, it's just great to see those guys playing and performing at a high level. We got the ball back and punted. The defense is back on the field, and we get a sack, and the half ends at 14-10 Jaguars. Stay with us as we look at the second half of the Southern University Alabama A&M Bulldogs game. <laughs> Want to get here? It's totally awesome. How about here? Wow! Well, it all starts with the Black and Gold Saints scratch off from the lottery. Win up to $100,000. Enter our second chance drawings and you could win a 2013 Saints game day prize package, autograph Saints merchandise, or the fan experience of a lifetime. It's just unbelievable. I'll never forget it. Show your true colors with the Black and Gold Saints scratch off from the lottery. is football, and you're looking at football's biggest fan. I sit close to the TV just so I can join the huddle. I know 38 mascots on a first-name basis, and I never miss a touchdown. Ready for football? Cox has over 700 pro and college games this season, and more games than ever before online and on your mobile device. Score 50% off NFL Red Zone when you bundle. I refuse to eat turnovers. Cox is football! When you fly with Baton Rouge Metro Airport, you'll see how we've been working hard to make things easier for you, like the closest parking of any airport in its class, faster check-in, friendly, easygoing people to help you on your way, shorter security lines, quality shops and vending, and a team committed to safe and efficient operations so you can get back to what matters most to you. The next time you travel, keep it simple. Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport. Fly easy. A new dawn in Southern Athletics approaches. One measured by the relentless pursuit of academic excellence and athletic glory. There is just one thing missing from my Jaguar Jamboree. You. A Southern rebirth is firmly taking shape on the bluffs of the Mississippi. But to propel the Jaguar Nation to new heights, we need you. Because Southern deserves a, a nation, nation united. united. Football show. We come to you each week from Le Bon Temps Bar and Grill, located at 8342 Perkins Road. We invite you to come out, hang out with Coach and I, talk a little SU football. Coach, coming out of halftime, we're up 14-10. What do you tell your team at a point like that? One of the few times we've been up this year. Well, you know, we got to take care of the football. You know, we talked about turnovers and talked about penalties and just coming out playing with great excitement, enthusiasm, and effort. And you know, we did that for the most part, but you'll see that you know we had some costly turnovers. Well, let's jump into second half highlights and show the folks what happened in this game where we got our SWAC win on. 
Here we go again with Tillery. He rushes up the gut. He's a hard little runner, coach. Hard nose, you know, a guy that's determined to get that extra yard. Dre sets up. Unfortunately, the old interception bug gets us again, coach. That's the third one of the day. We come back on defense. Brown gets uh, the Alabama A&M quarterback on the quarterback, Harry. He had a good game for you as well, coach. Yeah, that's another one of them linebackers that, you know, they step up and they really make plays, and you know, it's a good play right there. They overthrow the ball, and Cook comes up with the interception for the Jaguars. Then Dre hits Doss for 24 yards, and that's always a good sign when they get on the same page, coach. Well, exactly. You know, Doss always seems to be open. You know, we just deliver the football to him, and, you know, it's a great job of him right there blocking down the field. Tillery for 19. And then, uh, unfortunately, Dre gets sacked, and that kind of kills our drive. Coach, in a situation like that, I mean, what do you tell your kid? To get rid of the ball, or you tell them to just hang in there and try to make a play? Well, you got to get rid of the football. You got to understand where we want to go with the football, and, and you got to let it go. You can't hold on to it. Jaguars dig in, give us some good D. Alabama A&M sets up for the field goal, and he misses it short, thankfully. And uh, we get the ball back. Unfortunately, we punt, they get the ball back, and the defense comes through again. Good defense by Allen and Lewis this time, Coach. Well, exactly. We're starting to understand now that this will be a football game that probably come down to the wire, and it's going to take everything that we got to keep them out of the end zone. About this time in the game, the range was starting to come, Coach. Um, uh, at, for Dawson Odoms, is, is rain a big issue? Does, does it make you change what you're trying to do when rain comes? Well, no, nah, you just got to keep playing your game plan, and, and guys got to make plays and step up, and you, it's, it's tougher to throw the football, so you lean more towards the running game. After about an hour, 15-minute delay, um, we actually get back on the field to play about three minutes and 27 seconds. They get the ball back on about the Jaguar 35, and just as you can see, the Jaguar defense was really, really playing well at this time. Dre gets the opportunity to get back on offense, and unfortunately, for the fourth time today, he throws another interception and gives it right back to Alabama A&M coach. Well, we gave it right back to him, but defensively, we came out and just, you know, created another turnover, and we got it right back, 327 left, and, you know, and. You know what happened after that. Here comes the rain. Here comes the rain. After the rain delay, coach, your defense dug in some more. That was a great stop right there. Unfortunately, they hit this little pass. Coach, this was the weakest pass of the day, and that guy <laughs> caught it. Well, you know, it's tough in those conditions. You know, they they came out in the, that three minutes after the delay, found the way to get them to get points. That's right. They get a touchdown there, and they go up 17-14. Um, with just a little bit of time left. Willie Quinn, Mr. Excitement for Southern University, almost breaks one right here, Coach. That that stadium for whoever was left would have went wild if Willie could have taken that on in, Coach. Well, exactly. You know, you still got a team that just gave up the lead out the delay and just fighting, trying to get back down there and see if we can't put points on the board. And there's another connection from Dre to Dawson. Yep. He's on the five yard line. Dre hits Dawson for 17, then he comes back to him for 24. And Matt Hill, coach, you had been kicking uh, a young man, uh, Pittman. How did, did, did Hill beat out Pittman, or is it Pittman hurt? Yeah, Pittman was injured. He got a hip flexor strain, and that, that led to, to Matt having the kick. Okay. Well, as you saw, we had our field goal blocked, unfortunately. And uh, at this point, coach, we're in overtime. Yeah, and it's and anybody football anybody's game. Anybody's football game. Dre comes back, has a nice little out route, and here's Mr. Hill setting up for the game-winning field goal. And there it is, folks. In a strange game, the Southern University Jaguars take it and it's a 20 to 17 win for the Jaguars. Stay with us as we come back and look forward to the Cox Players of the Week and look forward to next weekend's game against the UAPB Golden Lions. Did you know smoking and tobacco use damages nearly every organ in your body? Don't you think you deserve more than heart disease, lung disease, cancer? 
Stay away from the toxic chemicals of tobacco and smoking. Tobacco smoke hurts anyone who breathes it, including family and friends. Communities of Color Network supports a tobacco-free Louisiana. To gain financial success, the first step is getting in the game with planning your retirement. With so much uncertainty in the financial world, it's crucial to have someone on your team that understands your financial goals and can navigate you to obtaining your dream to financial freedom. McLean Financial Group advises in many areas. We pride ourselves on strategic financial planning and serving our clients, a great combination to obtain financial freedom. Get in the game and let McLean Financial Group design your customized financial playbook and quarterback you to financial independence. Healthcare reform is bringing change, but one thing that won't change is our commitment to you. We're Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Louisiana. We're a not-for-profit company, and we work for you. And whatever changes come our way, you can count on us. Count on us to pay your claims. To answer your questions. To give you the service you deserve. You can count on us to be there when you need us. That's our promise to you. To get more answers on health care reform, visit us at bcbsla.com slash health care reform. You can count on Jerry Lane. At Jerry Lane, they rolled the red carpet out for me. It's always been Jerry. Jerry Lane. You know what? It's tradition. It's family. And that's what keeps us coming back to Jerry Lane. Get the line, get the line. Welcome back to the Jaguar Football Show. And as we do each week at this point in the show, we name our Cox Communications Players of the Week, brought to you by the good folks at Cox, your friends in the digital age. Coach, who are the Cox Players of the Week on offense, defense, and special teams this week? Well, on offense, the offensive lineman, uh, Anthony Mosley, he did an outstanding job against a young man that we thought was probably the best defensive tackle we've seen this season. Uh, defensively was Arthur Molly who turned in his best game from a stat uh, perspective. He had 11 tackles and just outstanding. He was also, you know, a preseason all-conference performance selection. So it was great to see him play well. And special teams, Matt Hill, I thought he did an outstanding job considering he missed the kick last year in overtime and then be able to come back with an opportunity to win it. You don't talk about karma, man. I was just happy the way he's been remained positive and it's just exciting to see him execute that game-winning kick. Well, there you have it, the Cox Players of the Week. Coach, Joe Dupree caught up with the winning kicker, Matt Hill, after the game, and Joe filed this report while talking to Matt Hill. We're here at A.W. Mumford Stadium from a barn burner as the Southern University Jaguars came out victorious against the Alabama A&M Bulldogs 20-17 to in overtime. And the hero is the kicker. Took us into overtime with an overtime kick that brought us into overtime, then the game-winning kick. Matthew Hill from Pensacola, how did it feel? Uh, it felt great. It felt great to do my job, just help the team out. Just, you know, we're all sitting searching for a, for a SWAC championship, and we're just glad I can help us get us through that journey. Now, Matthew came out after one hour of being put on hold. Rain delay, bad weather, lightning delay, but you came out. First kicked the field goal that took us into overtime, got a field goal blocked, came back with the pressure on, kicked the game-winning field goal. Know you got a soccer background. Did that play a part in this? Uh, I would like to think so. I didn't play football in high school. This is all I did. And so yeah, I'm pretty sure that had a big, you know, big impact on me helping me out out there. Now, all the Southern Jaguars were calling you Matty Ice, patting you on the back. How'd you feel about the accolades? Of, for once, the kicker was the big man on campus for this game. Uh, you know, it's always good. You know, it's always good to help out. I mean, being a kicker, you kind of dream about uh, getting that chance, but actually fulfilling it, it happening, and being successful with it, feels great. Now, the Jaguars came out victorious. Our next opponent is Pine Bluff. I know you're going to be there. Do you have anything to say to the Jaguar Nation? Uh, uh, just come on and hopefully we can get you guys another W. You heard it right here on the Jaguar Coaches Show, the Jaguar Football Show. This is how we do it. The Big Cat is back. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Matt. Coach, it's always good to see some new people 
get some light shined on him. And Matt Hill came through big time for the Jaguars. Exactly, a great young man. Uh, you know, he was our kicker last year. Pittman came in and uh, beat him out this year. And you know, we just talk about staying positive, being ready when opportunity presents itself. And I was, I was happy for that young man and, and the way he executed that game winning kick. Coach, before we go to break, how do we come out of this game injury wise? Well, I think we're as healthy as we was going in. We didn't really lose anybody. Uh, Warren Bates, I know he had to go to the doctor today. I get a report from him in the morning. But uh, he's the only guy that I, that I would rule doubtful for this uh, upcoming game. So, you know, other than that, I think we're going to have everybody back and ready to go to uh, head to Arkansas. All right, there you have it. When we come back, we'll have the Jaguar question of the week, and we'll look at UAPB Golden Lions. Stay with us on the Jaguar football show. Want to get here? It's totally awesome. How about here? Wow. Well, it all starts with a black and gold Saints scratch off from the lottery. Win up to $100,000. Enter our second chance drawings and you could win a 2013 Saints game day prize package, autographed Saints merchandise, or the fan experience of a lifetime. It's just unbelievable. I'll never forget it. Show your true colors with the black and gold Saints scratch off from the lottery. is football, and you're looking at football's biggest fan. I sit close to the TV just so I can join the huddle. I know 38 mascots on a first-name basis, and I never miss a touchdown. Ready for football? Cox has over 700 pro and college games this season, and more games than ever before online and on your mobile device. Score 50% off NFL Red Zone when you bundle. I refuse to eat turnovers. Cox is football! When you fly with Baton Rouge Metro Airport, you'll see how we've been working hard to make things easier for you. Like the closest parking of any airport in its class, faster check-in, friendly, easygoing people to help you on your way, shorter security lines, quality shops and vending, and a team committed to safe and efficient operations so you can get back to what matters most to you. The next time you travel, keep it simple. Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport. Fly easy. A new dawn in Southern Athletics approaches. One measured by the relentless pursuit of academic excellence and athletic glory. There's just one thing missing from our Jaguar Jamboree. You. A Southern Rebirth is firmly taking shape on the bluffs of the Mississippi. But to propel the Jaguar Nation to new heights, we need you. Because Southern deserves a, a nation, nation united. united. Jaguar football show. Coach O, at this time, we always do the Jaguar question of the week, and it comes from a young man named Greg Ory this week, and he asks you, Coach, what's the playing status of your young, talented receivers? And he mentions Baker, Brown, and Menard, among others, by name. Well, Menard's playing for us right now. He had a good kick return for about 30 yards Saturday. Uh, he's getting in our rotation with our wide receivers, and uh, Brown and Baker have been redshirted for this year. Brown and Baker have been redshirted. Menard's on the field. There you have it, Greg. Thanks for sending in that question for the Jaguar question of the week. Coach, UAPB, the Golden Lions were the SWAC champions last year, and this year, like Grambling last year, they're 0-6 overall 0 and 4 in the conference could you believe it from last year to this year to be over well no nah, you know especially with the coaching staff that they have you know uh, they do a great job of getting the team prefer, uh, prepared. So it's going to be a hostile environment. It's homecoming. You know how teams like to win homecoming. So we'll have to be ready to execute at a high level. Coach, they're coming off a 41 to 28 loss to Texas Southern. Does that give you a little 
false confidence that you know that, that you've got a chance to go up there and beat them because you know both of those teams are a little down this year? Well, no, nah, because when you watch the football game, you can see clearly that they're getting better. Uh, Palm Bluff had a chance to win the football game, but you know, once again, turnovers. You know, they had three turnovers, and Texas Southern didn't have any. So normally, when you lose the turnover battle, you lose the football game. But they're getting better. They're not a bad football team. They've been in every game, and you have to go down there and you have to beat them. Uh, usually, they don't beat themselves. Historically, a running football team. They usually have two good running backs every year. Same for this year. Well, yeah, and I think really their quarterback is the guy that make the offense go. He's done an outstanding job. You know, he was preseason offensive player of the year. And right now he's probably have, not having the kind of year he thought he would have, but he's playing well. Well, we wrap, well, we wrap up this week's edition of the Jaguar Football Show. Stay with us. Did you know smoking and tobacco use damages nearly every organ in your body? Don't you think you deserve more than heart disease, lung disease, cancer? Stay away from the toxic chemicals of tobacco and smoking. Tobacco smoke hurts anyone who breathes it, including family and friends. Communities of Color Network supports a tobacco-free Louisiana. To gain financial success, the first step is getting in the game with planning your retirement. With so much uncertainty in the financial world, it's crucial to have someone on your team that understands your financial goals and can navigate you to obtaining your dream to financial freedom. McLean Financial Group advises in many areas. We pride ourselves on strategic financial planning and serving our clients, a great combination to obtain financial freedom. Get in the game and let McLean Financial Group design your customized financial playbook and quarterback you to financial independence. Healthcare reform is bringing change, but one thing that won't change is our commitment to you. We're Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Louisiana. We're a not-for-profit company, and we work for you. And whatever changes come our way, you can count on us. Count on us to pay your claims. To answer your questions. To give you the service you deserve. You can count on us to be there when you need us. That's our promise to you. To get more answers on healthcare reform, visit us at bcbsla.com slash healthcare reform. Jerry Lane, they rolled the red carpet out for me. It's always been Jerry. You know what? It's tradition, it's family, and that's what keeps us coming back to Jerry Lane. Get the lane, get the lane. Welcome back to the Jaguar Football Show. Of course, we want to invite all the Jaguars up to Pine Bluff so you can help the Jaguars win. Let's go, go Jags! Jags.